that you must be going through and you have gone through since he passed on is very deep. And I just want to say to you that uh, God Almighty himself will take away that pain. We will be with you, we will pray for you, we will put you in our thoughts. But only God will be able to help you, to take you through the healing process. And I can tell you from experience, you will never heal. He is with you for all your life uh, until you, uh, you pass and you join him. That is a very, very painful experience, but uh, I see you are Meshikilua Sana and uh, all the bishops here. I'm sure each one of them talking to God will give you a lot of strength. So bear in mind that we are here to talk with you, to comfort you, to give you strength, to lift you, but you are very strong. However, this is something else. And, and I want to wish you and your family all the best and the God's blessings. Today, please continue to put her and the entire family in your prayers. I've seen her for the last few weeks since she lost her husband. And I know she's very strong. But I can tell you I've seen her break down. And if she breaks down and she wakes up because she has a lot of responsibility. And I want you to know, you will still continue with those responsibilities, especially that you are now the pillar of your family. The person who held you is now God. Yes, I remind you him today. But he has left a very firm foundation and a good understanding of what you need to do. And he has lived with you for a long time. So continue that path. You stop okay. You, you have been left very young. You are a public servant, continue to, to serve public. As long as you are serving public, you are serving God. And serve them well. Um, I know you have a very strong family, like your bishop, our bishop here, your brother who said you hold you. If only one line of the Bible that I don't so much agree with, <laughs> and that's the one I want to tell you. And I can't tell you, I can't quote. I think that's a mekana. Because I'm a mekana, I'm a mekana, I'm a mekana, I'm a mekana. I'm a mekana, I'm a mekana, I'm a mekana, I'm a mekana. Wazungu ufanya hiyo. Lakini hiyo part of the Bible, si yetu. Hiyo yendele na wazungu. Wee angalia nyumba hii, na familia, na watoto na mali ya abasa na vile tulikuwa tuna mchuma. You know you are my friend for many many years. You used to come to Paris when you were living there with your master now you are your husband. And the kind of life he really exposed you to. I, I could imagine a kamba girl except, uh, you know, exposed to the kind of life this man except exposed to. So enjoy it, even when he's not here. Remember to be what he trained you to be. And I see your daughter, who is also here. Na meolewa huko uzunguni. Be visiting them and enjoying the way he helped you, he made you live. Just live like that. Hapa tutaka vile vile tutaka. And of course you're given me a bit here in a short time just to say, good afternoon. The first leader of Viper, as I was coming here, we were meeting at the airport, and he said that he was so sorry that he was here, and we were reaching out to you, but he was traveling to Mombasa, as you know. We have a by-election of the other night in Mombasa, so he is there with the team, and I'm also going to join them. I saw you told you, very sorry and sad and the loss of your husband, otherwise you'll be talking to you. I was also sent by Baba Raila Moro Tinga. Actually, he's the one who gives me the leaves. I was coming by road and I told him in the meeting this morning, I'm so sorry I've got to because our public service chair has lost her husband.